Hi, and welcome to this short video tutorial on using the search tools in Realist. Realist is an incredibly powerful search tool that allows you to access public records data for 99.9% .9 of all parcels in the United States. This allows you to search for homes and their owners based on sales data, mortgages, foreclosures, taxes, assessments, physical characteristics, and more. Please note, of course, that your Realist coverage area will be determined by your local MLS. Let's start at the Realist homepage, where you'll find just about everything you need to search on the left-hand side of your screen. The search section can be collapsed, if you'd like, to dedicate more screen space to the map or grid. And of course, it can be expanded again by using the same arrow tools at the top right of this section. We'll start first with the Change County selection. Realist works best when you know the county where your desired property or properties are located. Right now, I'm searching in Orange County, California. When I hover my mouse over the county name, notice the recording date in the pop-up. This lets you know how up-to-date the data in this county is. You won't see recorded sales, foreclosures, or mortgages available in a county after the recording date listed by its name. Note that these dates change frequently, so always check the date each time you log in or switch counties. Now let's click on Change County. You can select up to eight counties to search in at one time. Add them using the checkboxes next to the county name. and remove them by using the X next to the county in the Selected Counties column. Now we'll navigate back to the home screen by clicking the X at the top right of the screen. The first thing you'll notice is that you can toggle between two tabs, Quick Search and My Search. We'll start with the Quick Search tab. Here you can search by using one of four search attributes, Address, Owner Name, MLS listing number, and then a tax ID, assessor's parcel number, or parcel ID. Most Realist search attributes include the ability to change the search operator to either is or starts with. Is means you will need to spell the value exactly as it's stored in the Realist database, while starts with allows you to type in the first few letters or numbers of a value and find any property that starts with those first few letters or numbers. The plus sign allows you to add more than one value to most search attributes. This way you can search for multiple properties in just one search. Remove these values by clicking the delete icon next to each one. Now let's move to the My Search tab. This tab allows you to create your own custom searches and only find properties that meet certain criteria that you specify. We'll start with the drop-down. Here you'll find any saved administrative searches or searches you've created previously. Administrative searches are just searches that have been created for you prior to your first login to Realist. They can't be deleted or changed under their saved search name, but you can edit them and save them under a different search name. These searches are indicated with a lock icon next to them. There are two other search types available to create as well. The first is a search template. For example, the My Foreclosure search includes two search attributes, Foreclosure Stage and Zip Code. These attributes are blank and can be filled out once the search is loaded. The other is referred to as a search template with values, like the example Foreclosure Search 92707. You'll notice a slight difference in the icons next to the search template and the search template with values. When you open this saved search, you'll see the same two attributes, but they have data pre-populated into them. Another helpful feature of this search is the count on the fly feature. Before you even perform the search, you'll see a count of how many results to expect. In this case, there are nine matches. Let's run the search by clicking on the search button at the bottom of the form. Now you'll see my nine results returned on both the list and the map. By the way, to clear out any search results and anything that's been entered into the search fields, just click Clear Searches. Also, by clicking on Customize Search, you can add an additional search attribute to this search. Once you've clicked Customize Search, you can still access any search in your list via the drop-down at the top and make changes to it, or even create a new search. Let's add a new search attribute to this search. 
Notice that while all search attributes are shown as a default, you can navigate to any section of search attributes on the left to narrow down the list. I'll click on Characteristics. Then I'll select County Use. Now I'll click Save. And then Apply. If I just clicked Apply, it would add the search attribute temporarily to my search, but it won't save it for my next use. This is also a good time to point out that certain search attributes will be freeform entry fields, such as the zip code shown here. Others may be drop-down selections, such as the foreclosure stage. You can select multiple values from the drop-down. And lastly, you'll see pick lists that also allow you to select multiple values, like the county use code. As for creating new searches, simply click the Customize Search selection again. But this time, from the drop-down, select Create New Search. You'll need to first give the search a name. Then you can add your selected search attributes. Then hit Save, and then Apply. Once a search is created, you can even hide or show the search attributes in order to more easily navigate the search template. As you can see, searching in Realist is easy and powerful, a great combination for finding important information about virtually any property. Please check out some of our other video tutorials to learn more about all of the helpful features Realist has to offer.